Open your Bibles to 1 Timothy chapter 3. We'll look at verses 1. 1 Timothy chapter 3, and we'll look at verses 1 through 2. And then eventually we're going to look at verse 12 as well. Now the thing is, is that Mormons, they have a weird system of polygamy, as you might know. Joseph Smith, because he was a pervert, that's why. So the founder of Mormonism, he, if you read about his life story, it's atrocious. He's uh, all you can, if you're going to be honest, he is a pervert, that's it. But then in these verses, it shows that uh, polygamy is condemned in the Bible. We do not believe in polygamy. However, the thing is, is that Mormons, they will try to argue that Abraham had, many, uh, had more than one wife. King David had multiple wives. And they will argue that there are so many different characters in the Bible who had many wives. In fact, they would go as so far as to say the blasphemy that Jesus had multiple wives as well. And not only that, even God, somewhere out in outer space, had uh, scores of wives. So that is actually blasphemy. But we believe that that is false. We're going to start off with 1 Timothy chapter 3. Now the simple answer is this. The simple answer is that God says in the New Testament, you see that? In the New Testament, we are not to have multiple wives. In the Old Testament, they had at that time, but today, in the New Testament, we are not supposed to have multiple wives. Verse 1, <clears throat> this is a true saying, if a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. So this is a pastor. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of what? One wife. One wife. It specifically said one wife. So it condemns polygamy. Now, if there's a Mormon that says, well, this is just talking about uh, pastors, church leaders. Well, that just makes it worse because Joseph Smith then violated that. Isn't Joseph Smith supposed to be your prophet, your pastor, your church leader, the biggest king, biggest church leader? And he violated a simple rule for church leaders. Let's look at verse 12. <clears throat> Let the deacons be the husbands of what? One wife. So we see right here that one, we see pastors. So I kind of slipped up in my writing here, sorry. But pastors is one. Deacons, even deacons, lower levels. Now look at Titus chapter 1. Titus chapter 1. It's repeated again. The Bible repeats itself. Titus chapter 1, and we will read verses 5 through 6. Verses 5 through 6. For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldst set in order the things that are wanting, and ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee. So we see pastors, deacons. Now these elders are pastors, but let's use the term elders here. What are Mormons called? Elders, right? Mm -hmm. Elder so-and-so. Elder so-and-so. And aren't they supposed to be expecting a bunch of wives up in heaven? That's why they're knocking on doors. What did the Bible say about the elders? What about the elders? Verse 6. If any be blameless, the husband of what? One wife. See that again. We're also going to look at the book of Matthew chapter, uh, Romans chapter 7. Excuse me. Romans chapter 7. Romans 7. Now we do know this is that the Bible, he, the Bible condemns more than one wife. It condemns more than one marriage. You have to have only one marriage. So we see that Christians are also condemned for marrying more than one. Look at Romans chapter 7. And notice what the Bible reads right here. Verse 1, Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law hath dom dominion over a man as long as he liveth. So the law has a dominion over the man in this area. For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband as so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loosed from the law of her husband. 
So then if, while her husband li liveth, she be married to what? Another man, she shall be called an what? An adulteress. So the verse condemns more than marrying one person. Verse 2 says you're only loosed from that marriage when the spouse passes away. Now the Mormons might argue verse 2 and 3 is talking about the women. They can't marry more than one person. But the man is okay to have multiple wives. But the easy debunking is verse 1. Did it say woman or man? It said man at verse 1. So this is a universal passage. It's just giving the woman as an example. See that? So the thing is, is that this is a universal commandment to all humans. Okay? That's what it is. Now look at Matthew chapter 22. Matthew chapter 22. We're going to have multiple wives up in heaven. Who teaches that? That is nonsense. That is nonsense. So, some of you men, imagine having more than one wife. You think you're having, you think it's enough work with one wife already? <laughs> imagine you had three of them running around, right? You think your life would be peaceful after that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at Matthew chapter 22. Another thing is this, heaven does not have multiple wives, period. Uh, no, it's going to be Matthew chapter 22. <laughs> Matthew 22, brother. Nice try, all right? It'll be Matthew chapter 22. And we're going to read verses 29 through 30. Verses 29 through 30. By the way, the Book of Mormon condemns polygamy for every man. And it calls it whoredom. Didn't you know that? Even your Book of Mormon. It's the Book of Mormon, Jacob chapter 2, verse 24 through 28. Quote, Behold, David and Solomon truly had many wives and concubines, which thing was abominable before me, saith the Lord. See that? Wherefore thus saith the Lord, I have led this people forth out of the land of Jerusalem by the power of mine arm, that I might raise up unto me a righteous branch from the fruit of the loins of Joseph. All right, let me skip down over here. For there shall not any man among you have save it be one wife and concubines, he shall have none. For I, the Lord God, delight in the chastity of women, and whoredoms are an abomination before me. I did not quote scripture. I quoted the Book of Mormon. That was clear as day. It condemns it and calls it whoredom. We see it once more at Ether, chapter 10, verse 5, Book of Mormon. Quote, And it came to pass that Rip Lachish did not do that which was right in the sight of the Lord, for he did have many wives and concubines, and did lay that upon men's shoulders, which was grievous to be borne. So as that the, their Book of Mormon condemns it, not the Bible, even their Book of Mormon. Now look at Matthew chapter 22, verse 29 through 30. Up in heaven you have multiple wives, as Mormonism teaches. Does God have multiple wives? Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do ye err, what? Not knowing the Scriptures. So a Mormon won't know the Bible then, if he's going to say the following. Verse 30, For in the resurrection they neither what? Marry nor are given in marriage, but are as, notice, the angels of God in heaven. Look at that. See, so one, it says heavenly beings up in heaven are not married. Two, humans who go to heaven are not married. So the Bible condemns it. So you'll find out right here that the Bible, it condemns uh, polygamy. And in heaven, there's no such thing even as marriage at all up in heaven. It's very similar to a Muslim teaching about multiple wives after you die. See that? Joseph Smith, it's very uncanny. You study the life of Joseph Smith and Muhammad, they go hand in hand. It's a very, they both claim that they're the greatest of the prophets. They both made their own book, their own Bible. They both uh, believe in multiple wives up in heaven. It's a sign of a strange fruit, strange evil fruit. Birds of a feather flock together.